Hello everyone and welcome to Abundantly Minimal. My name is Sarah and today I have a slightly different video than normal for us. We are gonna be talking about 10 side hustles that you can do from home if you're interested in bringing in additional revenue into your life or generating additional streams of income. Even though a lot of the videos on this channel are related to saving money and living very simply, I think that there are many of us who can benefit and have the skill set for some of these additional side hustles where you're able to further support yourself and bring in additional wealth and maybe do so in a positive way that really supplements your main career or job. So I wanna give you 10 ideas of things that you can do from home, and I'm really excited too because I'm teaming up with Kristen Marie, and Kristen has a huge variety of content on her channel, definitely some minimalism and living simply content, as well as budgeting and financial information, um, YouTube behind the scenes. She talks about her experiences being a cruise ship singer and so much more. I'm leaving a lot out, but we had been talking about this collaboration for months now and I'm so happy it's finally happened and I do it with another YouTube channel that I enjoy so much. I'm really excited about. So if you're looking for more than the 10 side hustles that I'm providing, Kristen will also be sharing 10 more. So you can feel free to head over to her channel. I have her video linked down below. And if you go over there, please tell her that I sent you. And she's actually doing a really cool thing for Vlogmas where every like she gets on videos is a dollar donated to charity. And so you can feel free to spread the love that way too. Now when addressing a side hustle, I think the most important part to address is the why. The why are you doing that? And so I will talk about my why a little bit, but if you personally don't want to hear that and want to get straight to the top 10, I will put a timestamp below that you can jump right there to. So for my own experiences, why do I value the side hustle? If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that my career is a teacher. I am a middle school social studies and Spanish teacher. I found myself wanting to do more than that. Obviously teaching, any fellow teachers know, teachings can be pretty intense and can kind of take up a lot of your time, both obviously during the school day, but then also afterwards. But I have been someone who's always been a high achiever and very driven. I kind of was craving more than my teaching job and I was create. I wanted to make a bigger difference and I wanted to address some topics that I don't necessarily get to talk about in the classroom. You know, I have a set curriculum and even though I personally feel like social studies is my passion and social studies is something that I care a lot about and in that are social justice and civic responsibility and many other things. But I care about a lot of other issues too that don't really come up as often in the classroom like minimalism, living simply, traveling, healthy living, veganism, like a lot of these things matter a lot to me, but I felt like I didn't really have as much of an outlet for those in the classroom. So that's one piece of it, but then also being someone who is very future-minded, I am very interested in thinking about the future and wanting to set myself and others in my life up for success as much as possible. And so my personal why right now, why I am working on two additional online businesses, Abundantly Minimal, as well as uh, Mr. and Mrs. Social Studies, which is the name of uh, the teacher store that Jake and I run on Teachers Pay Teachers. But my personal why for wanting to have these businesses and do this side hustle, in addition to my teaching, is that I'm hopeful that in a few years when Jake and I have our first kids together, I'm hoping that I will be able to be a stay-at-home mom for you know a period of time in their lives, maybe even up to 10 years. And since this is something I care a lot about, I am very motivated thinking of that end game of what I want here in several years from now, I'm very motivated to start setting myself up for that and putting in the time and the effort to make that happen. So personally for me, that's what's grounding me. That's my why factor. Now, I'm not wanting to leave teaching completely. I want to go back into the classroom, but to be able to take that time and say, you know what, this time I am spending with my future kids, like that means a lot to me. So knowing your why is gonna be really important when you're going through this because if you're motivated by this extra income for some reason, maybe your why is different. Maybe your why is to pay off your student debt. Maybe your why is to travel to places you've never been before. Maybe your why is to pursue something you didn't in the past, but you still feel like there's something in you that wants that path. Whatever your why is, I think that's really important. So 
That being said, especially since I do want that stay at home mom life several years down the road, these side hustles are all things that you can do from home. So for my first side hustle option, probably not surprising, but YouTube is a great option. As far as the amount of money a YouTuber is making, it's not necessarily a huge amount. I know for a class project in our careers class, some students had looked up somewhere that for every 100,000 views a video gets, the person gets $10,000, and it's nowhere near that. But what's awesome about YouTube is that you can earn some revenue from putting out content and ideas that you have, that you love, and you can also then build the community. And so that platform can be used to share a lot of different ideas, and from the ad revenue, you do get a small percentage of that. And for many, they can eventually get either different sponsorships or have affiliate links, some of those additional ways to earn revenue. Now from a minimalist perspective, my goal is to never make you feel like you have to buy something or to feel like I'm selling out to you. So you don't really see a whole lot of that here, but if there's some sort of other interest you have, maybe you're very interested in music or cars or something like that, there's maybe more natural and realistic options where you can have additional revenue coming from that source. My second side hustle option is Teachers Pay Teachers. Now I did mention that I am a teacher and I do have an account on there. If you have expertise in any of the main subjects or even in more creative elements such as designing fonts, clip art, that sort of thing, there's definitely a place for you on Teachers Pay Teachers. I do have a second YouTube channel for Mr. and Mrs. Social Studies that will have a more detailed video about Teachers Pay Teachers coming up. So if you're curious for that, I'll put the channel down below. I don't have the video out yet, but that is an option if you're interested. But especially for teachers out there, it can be a great place to not only share ideas, but also you can make substantial revenue on Teachers Pay Teachers, even with just a few products. I think at the moment we only have about 14 products in our teacher store, which is not that many, but our revenue tends to be between 50 and $100 per month, which is small still, but it does add up, especially since it's not like we have hundreds of products available. My third option for a side hustle is running a website. Perhaps you don't feel as comfortable putting yourself on camera or being in a video, but maybe you want to write blog posts or kind of create a hub of content around a certain topic and oftentimes there can be ads on that website as well. Similar options to the YouTube thing that it can build this community you might be communicating eventually with sponsors or other having other affiliate links. Those can also be side hustle options. My fourth side hustle is to take advantage of Airbnb or if you have extra space to rent that out. Recently, Jake and I have a new roommate and we have found the arrangement overall very positive. We have a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment and so it was a really natural fit to we have this extra bedroom and this extra bathroom that we weren't using effectively. And so now not only has it been a positive situation socially because it is a friend and fellow coworker of mine, but also financially that helps a lot because we're bringing in $450 of revenue per month now that we weren't getting before. And so that can be a really passive way to earn some additional income. And so whether you decide to go more the Airbnb route or if you know someone in your life who is needing a place to stay, maybe that's an effective option for you too. The fifth idea for a side hustle is selling things on eBay or Amazon. Now, especially if you were like us and you've decluttered a lot, you probably have some items that are valuable that can be sold. Now, not everything is unfortunately, and it's important to do a little bit of research, but if you go through certain items that you have and see what the value is on those, it may be worth it to sell those items on eBay or Amazon. Personally, we found a lot of success selling books and a bunch of Jake's old video games on Amazon. And then on eBay, we've sold some of Jake's old sports memorabilia, some old childhood toys, some of these things that no longer gave us value and to get the extra money for them, definitely nice. So I would highly recommend if you are going through some big decluttering, see if you have any items that are valuable. My threshold to decide if I'm selling something online is usually at least five or $10, just to make sure the time I'm spending selling things is justified. There's definitely somewhat of a learning curve when you get started, but after you figure out how to list an item and sell things on either of these platforms, it starts to get a lot easier and much more efficient. 
My next option for a side hustle is to write an ebook. Now this is something I haven't done yet, but I'm in the process of writing a minimalist cookbook digital version. This can be an option to earn additional revenue while also sharing your story and helping people in, again, whatever the topic of your book is. My seventh side hustle is to be a photographer or videographer. If you feel like you have good talents, either with photography or making videos, yes, you would have to go to certain events for this, but a lot of the work with photography and videography happens after the event when you're editing. So if that is something that you enjoy, these can be great ways where you can pick up specific events and be able to earn sometimes very substantial money from these events. My eighth side hustle option is Fiverr. I personally have not sold anything on Fiverr, but it's a great place if you have specific talents, let's say graphic design or being a virtual assistant. If you have talents or time to do those things, that can be a great side hustle. I know, like I said, I haven't done anything with Fiverr just yet, but I've been looking into some logo design and a video animation that I'd love to have at the start of my videos, and I don't know how to do any of that. So I am going to be using Fiverr to help me with that and finding um, people on there who can help me because they can do it a lot faster than I could and not for too much money. So that's definitely an option if you have a talent for those specific things. My ninth side hustle is Etsy. This would be specifically if you're someone who's crafty. I personally am not, but if you are someone who really enjoys doing crafts, it can be a great option for you to bring in additional revenue and also connect people to what you're making. My 10th side hustle is to be a coach. So if you have specific skills and there are people who want to learn those skills or need additional assistance in that, that can be a great way to build relationships with people and also bring in some additional revenue as well. So I have been a part of some business coaching groups learning a lot of those processes. So I've definitely been on that side and probably starting in the fall, I will start opening up the opportunity for some like minimalism related coaching. I'm not sure yet what the response will be, but that is something that I'd like to try. And I really enjoy talking to people in one-on-one -on -one settings. So I feel like it's a, a good approach. And again, it can be a really, and overall it can just be a great way to support others with what they need. So those are my 10 side hustle ideas that you can do from home. But if you'd like 10 more, please check out Kristen's video. I'm gonna link it down in the description field below as well as right over here so you can check out her channel. And if you are new to this channel, Abundantly Minimal, and want to live your best life with less, join our community by subscribing right over here. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.